welcome to my channel and today we are doing another speed build and this is yet another speed build for a um, Twitch follower um, so in case you don't definitely go and check me out on Twitch go give me a follow on there this so way you always know when I'm going live um, and we're live on there three times a week so anyway I discussed this in the last speed build I did for a follower um, so on Twitch, if, you, if you're not a streamer, if you don't go there and watch, um, there's a way you can set up what's called loyalty points, um, which is a way that um, you can make it so this way people that come and hang out in your chat a lot can get quote unquote points and can um, they can spend these points on whatever it is that you would wish to um, allow them to get. So one of my... Um, one of my rewards is I will build a house for you. So anything that you want built, you can go ahead and put it in there and I will build it. So I ask a lot of questions like size, um, if you want, what's, like, what kind of family. I do put in there if, um, if you're missing packs to put that in there, but I end up, nobody's really told me what packs. So. I tried to like in the last one I knew she didn't have that many so I tried to like keep it restricted this one apparently I went whole hog wild and said screw that I'm using something from every freaking pack this house no joke has something from every single back pack but two stuff packs that's it like so this is one of those if you have all the packs um, Definitely go give this house a, a look, see if you like it. Um, if you don't have all the packs, you might end up finding that um, you're end up missing a lot of the stuff that's in there. Um, so anyway, the first portion of this video um, is mostly the build. Um, as it turns out, apparently my computer got lost in translation somewhere, and uh, I ended up losing some of the footage for this build. Um, so it's going to seem kind of weird that we're going to jump straight from building it to right into furnishing the upstairs. So just so you're aware, um, that's what's going to happen. And it kind of sucks. I was really saddened by it. I ended up finding that out when I went back and I was re-watching it. Because I'm sitting here like, I know I did way more than two hours worth of work on this house. I spent way too much freaking time on here. I have also got a bunch of cuts, so I took out a lot of stuff that I could. Um, a lot of stuff that either got stuck or stuff that I didn't end up doing anyway. So I ended up, like, I ended up changing my mind and ended up redoing it. So I just took out all that extra stuff. So, and then that's on top of losing, I'd probably say at least a half hour's worth of footage. So, yeah, that was awesome. Pretty much I furnished the entire kitchen, living two bedrooms downstairs and a bathroom downstairs. I ended up losing all of that. I was so frustrated and so mad when I discovered it. Um, I ended up doing two of these um, two of these both of these videos. Uh, I technically did them in um, a, like two weeks apart. So I did this first portion I'd probably say like a month ago and then the second portion which is where I finished building the rest of it and or where I finished furnishing the rest of it was probably it was done like a few days after Strangerville came out um, so if you can imagine the timeline there um, oh and by the way the house doesn't look anything like this anymore <laughs> um, I ended up discovering all this after the fact but there was there's only so much I can do when the footage is just gone it's it's just not there there, it, it, it literally feels like there's nothing I can do about it. Um, videos, essentially, from here on out. Um, actually, it's before Strangerville, but after I did the other Twitch follower um, speed build, um, I ended up... Um, after that, that's when I ended up changing a lot of the settings in OBS, so this way I was able to get my videos to stop lagging and we're actually able to process correctly so from here on out they will be better um, essentially what's happening is my computer is wh when your computer does that it's there's some reason or another it's doing it that there's a lack of hardware somewhere um, and at the moment my processor isn't up to snuff apparently with my 
video card and a new processor is well, one that is supremely better than mine. The one that I've been really looking at is like $300. I don't have $300. <laughs> uh, so it'll come when the, when the time is right. Um, until then, I have adjusted settings. Um, I turned down a couple of things. Because um, I'd much rather it be light, like slightly lower quality than have it be choppy. You know? Like, that's the trade-off. So, I mean, we're doing what we can. Um, we'll get better. It'll get better. Yeah, here's the bedrooms. At least you'd see me kind of put the posters up and finish decorating the walls. I mean, I was so disappointed when I found out that none of the decorations were down there. You'll be able to see every room in the entire house once we go through the tour. Um... I have watched the tour as well, and that's that's fine. It's perfectly safe. No choppiness, nothing. Um, so, I mean, that's something. It's something, you know? Which is something I can appreciate. Um, didn't want to forget the handrails for the stairs, because apparently when I was done recording last time, I had totally forgotten to put railings on the stairs. So, apparently if you took the stairs up, be careful, you might just fall off. So this bedroom here is what I would classify as like a guest bedroom. Um, and then there is two Jack and Jill bathrooms. If you don't know what a Jack and Jill bathroom is, it's where you have two doors to it and it's designed to have um, a room in between or it's supposed to be in between two rooms. So both rooms can access it, but so it's all, it's like a semi-private bathroom. You know, it's not like the household bathroom. So... Uh, I really like making them in builds because it really gives like almost like a sense of um, it makes the house feel more worth more than it actually is you know and it's all just just through the fact of having a bathroom be connected to two rooms so it's almost like you have four master bedrooms except you don't <laughs> um, and there's a much nicer bed bathroom off the actual master um, in comparison to the one downstairs. Um, so, so the master still gets a nicer bathroom. Um, we of course have laundry out in the garage. There is, I do put laundry baskets in every room. I remember that and I was like, oh yeah. Like I know we can't actually have people stay the night. I mean, you technically can, but it doesn't really work out that well in The Sims, but I wanted it to look as realistic as possible. So there is an actual official guest bedroom which of course you could always take the bed out and have your sims use that as a studio of some kind i mean there's always that or use it as like an office off the other off the bedroom so there's plenty of options to use it as and i really like i really like it so um i end up changing the bed because the other one was designed to actually have that that falling piece to actually be attached to the wall and it can't be attached to the wall if it's attached to a window that's not how that works so we changed the bed up a little bit. Um, the person that had requested this house wanted lots of wood elements. They liked teal and blue, white and grays. Um, they won four bedrooms, two and a half bath. Which, I know there was a way I could have redone the entire house. Um, but this is how it came out. So this is... You could, this essentially helps you understand like where my mind is when I go to build. Like sometimes it doesn't always take like the shortest route. Sometimes it takes a more unusual one, which in which which isn't actually really all that bad of an idea because it occasionally actually ends up coming out looking really cool and you know and stuff. Um, they also said they wanted lots of outdoor activities, so of course this has so much stuff outside for them to do. So it's got a pool. It's got. Um, an area for uh, kids to play out and there's a uh, room for teens and adults and just overall there's lots of stuff to do outside here and I love getting all those pool lights in there it looks so cool and then, of course these are the big cat and dog gates with the cat and dog fence I just love the fence like it it's so like rustic looking you know Ended up giving some nicer chairs out back. Uh, yeah, that uh, fountain, yeah, that ends up going bye-bye. So if you don't like it, don't worry, it's not staying. <laughs> um, of course, there's going to be a little hot tub out back as well. 
I can't, I can't believe how long I fiddled with that pool. Cause I'm just like, I just want the, I, or with the fountain. I'm like, I just want the fountain. I just want the fountain. And I'm like, after a little bit, I'm like, why do I keep insisting I need this stupid fountain? So I end up getting rid of the fountain. Um, but here we are. We are getting rid of some of that tile. This way we can also do a slip and slide. Do the shocky slip and slide. Hell yeah, why not? And uh, let's see. So we, they also end up getting a grilling area out back. And um, a little seated area for that. I really like the way this house ended up coming out. Like, especially all the outdoor stuff. I normally don't give my Sims that much stuff to do outdoors. So this is a little out of the ordinary for me. Um, and I also like the fact that we have a, it, it's got a fire pit there. So you can really have guests over and they can enjoy the house, you know? Although, be careful, like, I remember one time, like, I put that same fireplace in a house, and I swear to God, every time somebody sat around it, they caught on fire. So, uh, yeah, just be careful with that, you know. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, so we're going to be going in to the house tour now. So this is what the outside of the house looks like, with that beautiful little landscaped area out front. Um, this is the garage front. It's got, technically, it's a two-car attached garage. And then, whoops, yeah, sorry, I ended up sliding out of there. Um, we're going to go in here through this front door. We'll turn immediately to the right. Is right where the kitchen is. Um, and there's that little dining area. I know, and this could be a lot to take in since there's no footage of it, and I do deeply apologize. Um, again, I went with the totally different colored chairs. Um, there's two extra chairs there, as if almost like it's for, like, when you have guests over, you can just pop the extra chairs onto the table. Um... Of course, lots of activities inside. Um, we're going to take a quick peek outside before we end up going through the rest of the house. Just since the door is here. So you can see this is where they have like all this fun stuff here. Here is the pool, jacuzzi, and kind of like a seating area. It's got that little heater there. So this way, you know, when it's cold outside, you know, you can stay nice and toasty. Here is like the kids slash toddler area outside. Then we will go ahead, we'll walk, we'll, we will go through the house, like obviously we're not walking, we're flying! Like creative mode in Minecraft, but you know, not really. Um, <laughs> so we'll go into this little mini half bath here real quick. Pop right in here, and there's just a little half bath downstairs, so when guests come over they can just use that. They don't have to worry about using the uh, Jack and Jill bathrooms and disrupting someone's privacy. So here is one of the bedrooms for this house. It didn't quite go into the doorway enough. Ended up cutting off the dresser there. I made one like super colorful and one more like grays and whites and stuff like that. Um, so here is the Jack and Jill bathroom downstairs. So you can see here there's a second door but there's also all the pieces there for a full bath. And then we will go into the second bedroom here. And this is the one that's more, it's got a couple more white pieces with colorful accents, whereas the other one was really colorful with white accents. So, white and black. We're going to go ahead and take a look out into the garage before we head upstairs. And out in the garage there is, of course, that secret lair area. You know, so this way they can hide all their valuables. Because why not? I mean, if you're famous and you got, you know, expensive trophies and stuff, Get you one. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Washer and dryer, of course, are right outside. And then we're going to take a look upstairs. We'll explore the master bedroom, the guest bedroom, and the master slash Jack and Jill bath. And so like I addressed in my last video, I've started leaving extra room. So this way you can um, put things into place wherever, um, like in case your Sims have other activities that we don't quite cover, then there's room there for them to, uh, room for their items to go in there. So this is the bathroom from the guest bedroom side. Of course, we're going to go out and we're going to come back in to through the master bedroom side. And the master bedroom has a walk-in closet with a big mirror so you can kind of get ready. Um, there's also an armoire there, just in case you have more clothing than what would actually fit in the uh, closet. Beautiful fireplace there. Oh, I love the closet, though. I do. 
closet's one of my favorite rooms I've done. And it's like so simplistic, you know. Uh, but there is the full bath for the master bedroom. And I think that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I'm going to leave this right here. Leave your feedback, comments, and suggestions all down below. Um, I love hearing from you guys. All my social media is in that description box, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And we're live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I would love it if you could stop in sometime. I love chatting with everybody there. Um, and as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.